Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this amazing 3D card flip animation in Adobe XD. So if you are aware, such 3D animations were only possible in tools like Adobe After Effects and all. But here we are on Adobe XD creating this animation without using any third party plugins or any external tools. So in the recent update from Adobe, there are some new features like 3D transform in Adobe XD, which helps us to create such cool animations. So without wasting any more time, let's quickly see how to do this. So here I've got two artboards. On the first one, I have the card with the front view and on the second artboard, I have the card with the back view and the rest of the layers are pretty much the same. So talking about those, I have a status bar here. I have a back button. I have some dot indicators and I have some card data and also I've got a small background and that is pretty much about the different layers that we have here. And before we move on, if you want to learn this along with me, then pause this video here and download this XD file from the description below so that we can learn this together. So I'll just move this artboard a bit further so that we can create the next state of this particular artboard. So I'll just duplicate that and on the second state, I'll just click on the card and I want this to rotate. So here comes a new feature. Uh, this is a small cube that you see on the right side, which says 3D transforms. So if you don't have this, just go ahead and update your Adobe XD to the latest version and then you'll see this option. So as soon as I click on this, you can see that new options are getting enabled. So if I remove this, you, those options just fade away. So currently, if you want to rotate an object that is just in the 2D plane or the 2D space, so I can just rotate it like this. But once you enable this uh, cube here, you have some three options here, which is basically X axis, Y axis and Z axis. And you also have this new icon that you see on the object or the layer, which is basically to rotate it in different angles. So let me just give you a quick intro about this. So the thing that you see here, which allows you to rotate it in X axis. So I just click on that and I drag. You can see that it is rotating in X axis and also this value here changing, which is the X angle. So I'll bring it back to zero. And if I try to play around with this one here, it basically rotates it in Y axis or the Y plane. And you notice that the Y value is changing here. So I'll again bring it back to zero. And then you have this uh, small dot here, which allows you to change the Z or the Z plane axis. So if I click it and I drag it, you can see that it's uh, coming forward, enlarging and going back. But at a point you see that it just goes away. And that is because you're going below the negative or going to the negative Z axis. So if you see here, it is minus 26 and that is why you're not able to see it. So if I make it zero, you'll be able to see it. So it's going in the positive angle or uh, positive values that you're, you're able to see it. But once I go to the negative, uh, that just goes behind the artboard and that is why you're not able to see it. So that's a very quick intro about this new option or the new feature by Adobe XD. So quickly moving on, uh, we wanted to rotate it 180 degrees or basically 360 degrees. So once I try to click on this Y plane, you want it to rotate like this. You can see that. But you don't want it to rotate 180 like this because uh, you don't want to see the back side of the card here. So what we'll do is we'll just rotate it till the 90 degrees. You can use this option here or you can manually give the value. So I'll just give it as minus 90 so that it's exact. Now we are not able to see anything because it's completely uh, invisible at this particular plane. And now I'll use the next one that is the back side of the card. I'll place it here and we'll make a duplicate of this one. So in this one, I want to continue. So once it reaches this state, it should uh, basically next rotate this particular back side of the card. So we'll flip this and keep it at that angle. So this is going to be a positive 90 degrees. So I can use this or give a value here directly. So I'll just give this as 90. And from this state, it should basically rotate to this particular uh, angle. So we are pretty much done uh, creating the states. All we are left is creating the prototype. So I'll go to the prototype tab here and then uh, on click of the card, I want the action to be taking place. So I'll click on that. I'll link it to the next screen here and on tap, let it be auto animate and maybe I'll give it like 0.5 seconds and then uh, you don't want any uh, external action here. So I'll click on the artboard and move it to the next state. So here you don't want any delay. So this should happen with a time with zero delay and with the least duration possible. So I'll give it as 0.01 second. 
and then again a time trigger to the next one with the same time that is taking to rotate from this to this state which we kept it as 0.5 so I'll give the same value here with auto animate I think we are pretty much done so let's quickly run this and check how it works so here I'm on the prototype I click on it and it rotates that's cool right so let's complete the whole process on click I just want to go back to the same state so that we can do it infinite times so what I'll do is I'll just create a duplicate of these two artboards which will help us to create a infinite loop of the card flipping. So on click of this card I'll basically link it to this state and we'll do the same thing here I want this state to go to this state. So what we'll do is we'll click on this link it to this one with a time. Okay we already have a action here so we got to delete that and that is why we are not able to see the time trigger. So I'll click on this delete this and we'll do this again you want to delete all these extra actions that are already there on it so i'll link it to this one on a time trigger with the least duration that is 0.01 and from here back to the first state with the time trigger and the duration is going to be 0.5 seconds yep we are pretty much done and created a complete loop here so if i go ahead and run this i just click on this it flips i click it back and again it rotates that's it for this video guys, if you found this interesting, do check out some of these other XT animation tutorials.